Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to explain you timer zero programming example in C language for PIC microcontroller. So far in this video series, we have discussed various instructions and their implementations using various application programs in C language for PIC microcontroller. And now we are starting our next part or the next peripheral part of these uh, PIC 18F microcontrollers. And we will be learning those peripherals. The very first peripheral that we are going to deal with is timer zero, right? Uh, I have already done a semi-language programming series for PIC 18F microcontroller. And in that series, I have already explained various uh, aspects and various uh, theoretical concepts Furthermore, the important registers uh, that are needed to uh, be utilized in timer zero programming, right? So uh, since I've already explained those as stuff, so in this series, I'm not going to uh, explain them again. And rather I will be skipping that part because that part is almost similar. So if any one of you, which is not familiar with timer zero and it's in theoretical concepts, it's important register. So for them, I will be giving a link over here as a I card, you can click on that link and you can follow those two to three tutorials. Basically there are three tutorials in which uh, one covers the aspects, theoretical aspects, the second one covers the important registers and the, uh, and the third one is basically how to calculate the values of that register. So if you are uh, aware about timer zero, you don't need to go to, through those tutorials. But if any one of you is not aware about the aspects and the important registers and their calculations. So I will suggest, and it is highly recommended that you should watch those tutorials so that you can understand them and you can uh, understand uh, how timer zero is being fully utilized in any application program. For those who are already aware about it, they don't need to go through those tutorials because uh, I'm, uh, they can actually pick the train from this point, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take an example program. In this program example, you can see that I'm being asked generate a square wave at RC zero, right? So at RC zero point, we have to generate a square wave of PIC 18 F452 with time period of six millisecond. That means a total time period, I have already made it here for those, uh, that six milliseconds should be the time period of the square wave. And you, we know that it is a square wave, so it will be turned on and off for equal amount of time. So six milliseconds will be divided into two interval, three milliseconds it will turn on and three milliseconds it will turn off, or it will have a positive and negative cycles, right? From the RC0 pen, right? So first of all, I'm going to write a simple C language program. I have already written it for you. So uh, I will just write it because uh, I know that now you can easily write the code to turn on and turn off any pin uh, in C language. So I'm just going to write it and then we will uh, deal with this delay, amount of delay, uh, which will be used in between turning on and turning off uh, that different uh, pin, right? Or pin number RC0. So let me write the code first. Okay, I have written the complete code for that uh, turning on and turning off the output. So, okay, let me explain it quickly so that one can easily follow the my tutorial. So basically in the very first line, if you see it, uh, what I've done, I've actually defined a output variable, or you can say I, I actually used a macro output with a variable name, and that output variable name is basically uh, associated with port C bits dot RC zero. That means this pin, right? The pin from where we are going to generate the output of the square wave, right? So basically this pin, we, I have named it as output. Then I'm starting my C code, void main void, it is just a start. Then this line, this line is interesting line that press C bits comma R, uh, bits dot R, press C zero equal to zero. That means we are declaring this pin as a output pin here, right? So this line is just for the purpose of declaration of this pin as an output pin. Then I'm starting my infinite loop while one. So this loop will run for infinite time. And what I'm doing in this loop, output equals to zero. First of all, I'm making this 
pin as zero, and then I'm making this pin out one output equals to one. So this is the, uh, this uh, our program will make this pin zero, and then this program will make this one, and this process will continue for infinite interval of time. So we will have a square wave, right? But the problem is we want to generate the delay of three milliseconds. Remember the total time period was six milliseconds. So basically we want to have a six uh, three millisecond delay for on duration and three millisecond delay for off duration, right? So output equal to zero, then we have to need a delay of what? Delay of three millisecond and output equals to one, then we need a delay of three millisecond. So basically in these two outputs, we need to have a delay of three milliseconds and that's what we're gonna do. So let's write a code for delay. And when we are going to write the code for delay, let's define a variable or a function. Uh, let's say function name is, uh, it, it's not going to take any uh, value. Okay, let me just access this code. Yeah, so function name will be what? Delay. And it's not going to take any value because it will be just producing certain amount of delay. And furthermore, it won't return any type of variable. So it's return type will also be void. And then that's it. And suppose let's say if we have defined that delay, then we have to just call this delay after making output equal to zero. And we have to also call this same function of delay after output making equals to one. So now the code will work, but only one thing is remaining that delay profile or delay definition is not defined. Before we define the delay, we must know that uh, delay will be produced with the help of timer zero. That's what we are doing in this uh, video tutorial. So we need to use the timer zero and for timer zero, we need to define certain register values. So as I've told you that I've already explained those values. So I'm gonna just use those values. So what are those values? Those values are these, right? So for timer delay for three millisecond, timer zero control, this is a register and it is going to be what? Zero eight hex, timer zero edge register, it is going to be what? F four hex and uh, timer zero L register, it is going to be what? Uh, four eight hex, right? So Let's start for the delay definition. So we are going to use these registers and delay definition. So let's say our code of delay is basically white. Then the name of the function, which is delay white. And let's define the values of the various register in this body. So first of all, time zero control register should be equal to 0x08, zero zero basically that is hexadecimal. Then timer 0, that's register, is it e equals to 0x, zero f4. Then timer 0, lower right register is equal to 0x, zero 48x. And then we have to make sure that before we start the timer, we have to make sure the alarm bit or the over rollover notifier bit should be zero earlier. So that is present in interrupt control register, INT control. And we have to access that specific bit. So bits and the bit name is EMR zero IF, right? And that should be zero earlier. And then we start the coin timer. To, to turn on the timer, we have to access the timer zero control bit and a control register and the bit number bit is basically the name is timer zero on, right? And so we have to make it equals to one. So timer will start. And then we will have to continuously check whether the timer zero IF bit has become one or zero. So how you do it? You use the while uh, loop and in while loop, you make a condition that interrupt control bits dot timer zero if that flag should be equals to zero 
unless this condition is true so you will remain in the body of the loop otherwise you will come out of the loop so let me just adjust the yeah and after that what do you do once you come out of the body that means your timer has expired so first of all you turn off the timer how you do it timer zero control bits timer zero on bit should be what it should be zero so that timer is off and then again interrupt control i have already made it uh, in earlier so don't need to do it again so that is the body of the delay profile so every time whenever your delay is called what what you do first first of all you actually uh, define these values of the various timer then the next important stuff basically you have to turn off the timer zero if bit and that you do it using this line and then you start the timer then second step and then third step you check for the debit if it is it it is still zero or not if it is it has button if it has become one that means your timer has expired or the amount you wanted to produce is already produced and then you turn off the timer right so these are the basic steps of writing uh, the timer code in c language i hope you have understand it so this program will produce now uh, this is square wave which is basically culmination of 3 millisecond delay while turning on this pin rc0 and this is also uh, the second part is 3 millisecond delay while turning it off rc0 pin right so i hope you have understand this tutorial if you have any confusion please post them in comment section thank you so much for listening